Hi viewers, I'm starting a new uh, tutorial on widely used Excel functions uh, from basic to fairly advanced level. Uh, this is what I call a one-stop shop. Uh, it is covering quite a few, quite a variety of functions like basic maths in Excel, quick functions, some average, min, max, VLOOKUP and XLOOKUP. And you can see uh, I have a worksheet uh, with examples uh, to cover all these functions. Uh, just to avoid uh, the information overload, uh, I'm going to complete this in a series of short videos. So please subscribe so, you, so that you can get a notification whenever the new video is uploaded. Let's start with some very very basic mathematics in Excel. And as you can see, uh, to save our time, I have uh, already set up some data. Uh, on your right hand side, uh, there are three tables. Uh, that contains uh, the data we are going to apply the calculations and on your left hand side you can see uh, these are some very basic uh, mathematical uh, functions uh, like uh, addition, subtraction, multiplication, division and power. So let's see how we can apply these uh, mathematical functions to the data we have in the tables. So let's see in how we can apply the calculations uh, to the constants. So if you want to add two numbers, simply type is equal to the first number and the second number and you get the answer straight away. If you want to subtract two numbers, type is equal to the first number and second number and as the answer. If you want to multiply two number, type is equal to first number multiply second number and here's the answer and you can continue with the division and the power as well so power might be new for some viewers so how it works is is equal to 2 this is the caret symbol raised to power 2 and that is your answer it's very very straightforward very very simple example uh, to add two constants you can add uh, as many numbers as you want and you can use multiple symbols uh, in one equation for example this 2 plus 2 plus 2 plus 5 plus 6 multiply by 2 and here's your answer but we are going to stick with the same example what we are doing now let's see how uh, how the cell references works as every every cell uh, in Excel has a reference and the reference is uh, the combination of uh, the column and the row for example this two has a cell reference D12 D is the column and 2 is the row so how the calculations will be applied to cell references and how is different uh, from the constants let's see it's almost same as constant in the only difference is instead of using the constants we use the cell references is equal to click on the first cell you want to add plus click on the second cell you want to add so here instead of the numbers we can see the cell references and excel will take the value from the cells automatically for if you want to subtract two numbers is equal to click on the first number subtract click on the second number and it's done and then if you want to multiply is equal to click on the first number multiply the second number it's done and we can continue with division first number the second number is the answer and power first number the caret symbol and second number here is the power so now what's the difference and what's the benefit so the difference uh, the benefit is the dynamic feature of the cell references for example if we want to add these two constants we already have constant uh, added the constants in uh, in this row and uh, to add these constants we already have formula in this row if we want to copy 
this into this row we see formula is copied but the numbers are the same as in the previous row uh, instead we want to have 12 plus 2 so we have to do it manual manually 12 plus 2 and then is equal to 12 minus 2 and then is equal to 12 and multiply by 2 and then is equal to 12 divided by 1 and is equal to 12 and raised to power 2 time consuming and more chances of errors but with cell references the dynamic nature of the cell and Excel is smart enough to change the cell references automatically to reduce the time and the risk of an error whenever there is a formula in the cell if you copy that cell to the next cell or the, to the next column or always 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 the formula is copied not the value so if we copy this cell f4 to the next row you see the cell references are automatically updated and that is the benefit of using the cell references and now we can simply copy all these formulas to the next row and Excel will update uh, the cell references automatically that will reduce your time and reduce the chances of errors and mistakes so now let's see what the hybrid functionality is the hybrid functionality is is combination of cell references and constants so for example if you want to add these two numbers and multiply by any constant number say 10 that's 22 so we have used both the cell references and the constants but remember the bodmos rule so bodmos rule says the bracket first then division and multiplication and then addition and subtractions whichever comes first so here we can use the brackets and what does that mean that means d16 and d16 will be added first and the answers will be multiplied by 10 and this will give you a different result as we saw in the pre uh, previously for example if we remove the brackets what is happening the e16 is being multiplied by 10 first due to the bodmos rule and then d16 was added to the answer that's 22 so remember the bodmos rule applies to the excel as well and we can use both cell references and constants in one hybrid formula for example if we want to add these two numbers and subtract 1 here's the answer again because this multiplication and uh, subtraction are whichever comes first so here so d16 and e16 are added first and then one was subtracted from the answer but if you want to change you can force a different approach and you can use the brackets and uh, you will have a different formula in this case we have the same formula it's because of the numbers so that is very very simple and basic mathematics in excel you can use and uh, using cell references and constants and hybrids and most of the time most of the time uh, the cell references are used because uh, there are hundreds and thousands of transactions and rows and columns and you cannot uh, obviously update each and every row every time uh, manually That's how the basic mathematics works in Excel it is similar uh, uh, to the maths we have learned in our college and schools uh, being done in, in a digital way let's see what do we have in our topics uh, in one stop shop uh, we have uh, the quick functions we already have seen uh, some basic maths we are going to use the same spreadsheet same worksheet for our quick 
uh, functions. So what is the quick function? For example, if I select the, these four cells, I will have some functions readily available like I can see the sum of these selected cells, how many cells I have selected and what is the average of the cell. We can change these uh, formulas to uh, the different uh, functions. For example, if I want to change this to uh, average function, I, I, I can simply click, right click on uh, the function and here I can see quite a few functions are available. For example, if I want to see the maximum, I can click the maximum and here the maximum is 12. If I select a different row, you can see the maximum is 144. Yes, we can see sum of the row is 212. Yes, and the average is 30. And we have selected 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 cells. If I want to add another function, for example, if I want to add the minimum function, so I have the minimum function here as well. These are readily available functions and used for very very quick calculations for example if we want to see uh, the addition of two numbers we can straight away see the number over here and how many rows we have selected these are we uh, th this is what i call a quick functions and uh, available for the users to save time and to see uh, the quick results if they are on the phone or if they are writing an email and they need some um, immediate information. So I hope this will help uh, for the beginners. Some of the users, uh, Excel users, might already aware of uh, these functions uh, quite easily. So I hope uh, you have uh, learned uh, some very basic mathematics in Excel. Uh, upcoming videos uh, I'm going to cover all these functions you can see in the different worksheets sum average min and max date and time and many other functions so please subscribe so that you can get alert whenever the new video is uploaded thanks for watching